The time of man has passed. The time of the orc has arrived. Wait, no. No, the time of the AI has arrived, boys. Because today, we're gonna be making AI create the strongest nation in E4. And this should be a very interesting one because we all know AI is clearly inferior and not big brain like E4 players. So let's see what it has to say about it. Not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty curious to see what the outcome is of this particular nation. And we're gonna make it decide everything. The location, the national ideas, the name, absolutely everything. I want to see exactly how it thinks and if it's actually right about the country created being the strongest or not. Also guys, I'm trying to get to 170,000 subs by the end of April, which is fast approaching. So if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. It would really support me so much and I'd really appreciate it. And I want to mention that what they say about me is not true, guys. I didn't steal your wallet and I will give it back to you if you subscribe, okay? It was my cousin that stole your wallet but i will give it back to you if you subscribe and we reach the like goal by the end of the month so clearly we're gonna have to do our custom nation but first off i loaded up chat gpt and let's start with our first question here hello puny ai not sure if that's how you write puny by the way i'm dyslexic so i got that going for me i command you to make me the strongest custom nation in europa universalis 4 hello i'm chat gpt GPT and AI language mod, I'll assist you in creating your strongest custom nation in U4. Alright, let's see what it says. Alrighty, y'all. Basically, this is a lot of not specific stuff. I need to be a little bit more specific with this AI, don't I? What province should my custom nation be located in? The first province. Holy mother of text. Jesus, AI. What the schnapps, man? Okay, that's a lot of information. It's basically trying to tell me what's important to keep in mind when I choose my uh, starting location for the custom custom nation and everything. He gives out Venice, Paris, and Constantinople as three options. Make the choice for me. Choice for me and less text wall, please. Thanks. Okay, sure thing. Based on the factors I mentioned, a good starting province for a custom nation would be Venice. It's a wealthy trade city located in northeast Italy. Well, thank you. I know where Venice is, all right? I've been playing EO4 for long enough to know that by now. So, we have the location. Let's click Yes Maximus on Venice. Now, let's ask the AI what the, uh, name of this custom nation should be what should i name the custom nation and what map color should it have oh my god again with the freaking text wall less text wall be concise and tell me color and name. Okay, na okay, that was actually really easy to talk to it. Name, Serenissima Repubblica di Venezia. Map color, dark blue. Yeah, I don't know if I like the name though. That's like literally just the Serene Republic of Venice. Be more original with the name and color, please. Be concise also. Dunk wave dominion, dark... W what? <laughs> How did it go from Venice to Dark Wave? Sorry, Dusk Wave Dominion. Dark Purple. Okay, we got it. We got it. Not sure we have Dark Purple. I have to find something that is Dark Purple-ish. Okay, I think that's fairly Dark Purple, right? Yeah, that looks like Dark Purple to me. And uh, Dusk Wave Dominion. Interesting how uh, the AI thinks about the schnapps. What would be the adjective, actually? Dusk Wavian? I guess I'm gonna randomize the flag. I'm not gonna bother with uh, the AI telling me the flag as well That's a little bit too much in my opinion. There you go. That's a cool flag Okay, now let's ask it about the royal family here. What are the names of the royal family? Wait, what? I don't have access to pre-generate a set of royal families. No, make up your own names. I don't want a pre-generated royal name. What the F, man? Name Queen Yalia the Wise, King Arcturus the Brave. Okay, choose one, please. And give me their skill stats too, please. Up to max six, because above it gave me uh, eight military and seven diplomacy. So obviously it's got to be less than that. All right, so we got King Alaric the Conqueror, Adisa the Wise, Prince Caspian the Diplomat. <laughs> what the F, man? Okay, that's actually pretty interesting how it thinks. Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the AI so far. Oh, we also need their age and the dynasty name also, please. Be concise. I know I'm not writing concise properly. Don't don't judge me, please, guys. Dynasty name Rivenheart. 
Okay, fair enough. And how the F she had Caspian when she was 15 years old? Ew. Sounds to me like Alaric's got some, uh, some uh, weird background right there, huh? Well, there you go, boys. We have Alaric, Caspian, and Adira. Next, we gotta figure out the culture, religion, tech group, government, and, uh, so on. And as always, I gotta ask him to be concise or he's gonna write me a massive text of everything. Culture, custom, player's choice. No, 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 no. You make the choice for me for a religion and culture, please. Okay, now here's a little bit of a dilemma, right? It's saying Catholic Italian and it's actually giving reasons why, but I want to know if it actually thinks this is the strongest choice. Do you think this culture and religion are the strongest choice to make the strongest nation, though? New 4, there's no strongest religious or culture. Oh, come on, AI, why you gotta ruin the whole thing now? It's giving me a lecture as well, for Christ's sake. Alright, fine, we have our choices here, let's make them. There you go. We have the uh, Venetian Catholic Western Duchy with uh, synthetic... Uh Synthetic sprites over here as well. All right, now the juicy part, boys. The national ideas. What would the national ideas for this custom nation be? I want strong army, economy, and expansion ideas. Let's see. Italian mercantilism, bonus to trade, production efficiency, military traditions. Oh, wow. Holy mother of God. It actually knows them by the actual name. What level should these ideas also be at? No, no, no. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. Hold on. Not traditions, ambitions, ideas. No, 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 no. I mean, the national ideas in the custom nation generator. How strong should these ideas be? Example, plus five infantry combat ability. There you go. Now it should be a little, should understand a little bit more what I meant. Military traditions five, expansionist ambition five. Bro, you can, you can have it up to maximum of four or three. <sighs> Make it up to a, a maximum of of three. All right, now it's way better, isn't it? There you go. We got our national ideas. Now, I've actually been looking for a good 20 minutes here to figure out where these particular ideas that the AI mentioned were, and they're not here. Essentially, the AI scammed me and invented its own ideas because none of these here are cold as the AI told them. So I have to ask the AI specifically the actual modifiers, I guess, for the ideas. There, I'm actually really nice. I'm asking it to tell me the modifiers for these ideas, and I'm even saying please. So, you know, I'm a polite person, not like this uh, AI here. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. You're giving me two of each AI? I cannot put two of each? Bro, this is greedy. Make sure each idea has only one modifier, not two modifiers <laughs> per idea. Oh my god. AI really trying to scam me. He's trying to get two idea groups into one, essentially. Alright, there you go. So we have trade efficiency, morale of armies, aggressive expansion impact, naval force limit, tech cost, idea cost, artillery, fort defense. Are these that actually don't seem that strong? What is this? Plus one monthly autonomy change. Bro, Last idea, change it to something else. I'm asking for strong ideas, not whatever the schnapps that is. You already have that! You already- AI is not very bright, clearly. You already have aggressive expansion modifier. Put something that's not in the other ideas, please. Come on, AI. Don't embarrass me like this. Plus one yearly legitimacy. I swear. The AI is the one that made the actual default ideas for uh, PDX. <laughs> this sounds like a very standard, not too exciting, regular country in E4. <laughs> well, now that we have the ideas, the most important question is going to be how many initial provinces are we going to have as the Duskwave Dominion? And let's see what it's... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, it wants to have Rome Florence, Venice, Savoy, and Tun- What? That is such a random- What? Okay, um, should these provinces have connecting provinces, or should they be separate? <laughs> okay, that's not what I'm asking, AI. I'm asking, decide. Our nation should be separated and only have the five provinces you mentioned. Too long answer. Be concise. Connect them or not. Connect them by annexing the provinces in between. Okay, sure. There you go. See, AI, you don't need to write a freaking text wall, all right? You're not my grandma here. Just say yes or no. So now we gotta connect Florence, Rome, Venice, Savoy, and Tunis. All right, we'll make the shortest distance for that. So that means we're gonna take Treviso and work our way to Florence, then go down to Rome. We also gotta take uh, a snake all the way to Savoy. Wait, where is Savoy, actually? Which, which province is Savoy? There's no province of Savoy. It's Torino, right? The capital of Savoy, I'm guessing it's what it refers to, really. 
actually. That would make more sense. Oh, I'm actually wrong. It told me to get the regions, Lazio, Tuscany, Venice, and Savoy, and connect them afterwards, I guess. So that implies I gotta take this entire area, right? This is the Savoy area. No, that's uh, the Ligurian area. So Venice. Okay, so let's first off get the uh, regions that we need to get. Tuscany, Lazio. There you go. That's four of the five and the Tunisian region. Pretty much reconstructing the Roman Empire here, aren't we? And we gotta connect them. So we're gonna take Genoa and let's see the path of least resistance would be what? Mantova, Parma, I guess. This one, obviously, we cannot connect. So we'll just leave it as this. This is essentially what the AI asked us to create. We've got 377 development, 26 provinces, some insane ideas. Well, debatable. I'd say that I probably select different ideas, but hey, I'll let the AI decide by itself so let's start our campaign and see what exactly this is gonna lead down the path of we're gonna ask the ai what it wants us to do in this particular game as well kind of surprised that the ai decided to start off in the italian peninsula i would expect an uh, ai invasion to start somewhere in the united states right but i guess that's according to modern standards in the 1400s the italian peninsula definitely would have been the uh, brightest out of all the uh, areas of the world when it comes to technology since this is where the renaissance started right the ai does definitely want to go for the most advanced technological areas doesn't it so let's see our initial situation I'll set this up first before the, uh, we ask the AI where to expand. We're going to give out the plus one mana privilege because AI doesn't understand privileges as well as I do, clearly. going to give out the patronage of the arts for the extra prestige as well. Basically a fairly standard uh, estates uh, situation here. going to get the indebted to the burgers loans as well. 1% loans and it's going to allow for some easy expansion around us. Check out our mission also. Get permanent claims on the uh, Ligurian area. Sure, yeah, hell yeah. I don't mind attacking the uh, Genoese take what's left of their country. So I'll give out the advisor cost reduction. I would technically recommend that uh, you wait until you get one stability, but personally, I keep forgetting to get the uh, privilege after I get one stability, so that's why I'm giving it out now. So if you're like me and you forget this stuff, I, I recommend you give it from the first day, <laughs> so you don't forget later down the line. We have quite a few uh, monuments as well now. We got the uh, one in Venice, the one in Rome, and the one in... Oh, no, we don't have Milan. Never mind. So we have two monuments. So overall, not too bad. Oh, we have uh, Firenze also. We have Santa Maria del Fiore, meaning we get 10% cheaper advisors. Eventually, we can get 20% cheaper advisors. And let's get our rivals, boys. We're going to go for the Hungarians. I'm going to go for the Tunisians, if that's an option. It's not. Okay, how about Aragonese and the Milanese, too, that so we can uh, completely cut off and destroy what's left of Milan. Unify Italy first. I'm assuming that's what the AI is going to want. We'll see in a while what it actually wants. Let's get some advisors, too. And economically speaking, it's uh, not amazing we're gonna have to delete some of these fortifications like the one in mantova which is useless and the one in geneva as well sorry i mean uh, genoa so so pass the advancement of religious act and we're gonna get a debuff because we're a catholic nation holding rome <laughs> not too many light ships so we're gonna be recruiting a few more light ships let's go up to 10 light ships and let's recruit some more uh infantry also wait do we have any professionalism zero professionalism okay let's uh, hire up all the way to max land force limit for the time being and let's go back to our ai overlord and ask it what should we do initially what to do at the start of our campaign hot damn this thing is actually not so bad if you <laughs> if you're really bad at the game legit it, it gives some pretty decent advice not gonna lie but it's very vague so we are gonna need to ask it more specifically be more specific what nation to attack first difficult to recommend blah 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 be concise and give me the nation's name it doesn't have the information of the specific nation you created earlier in our conversation bro you gave me the name Duskwave Dominion. They are located in Italy and own the five states you mentioned above. Oh wow, okay, so it actually gave me some options. Attack Urbino, Siena, Luca, or the Papal States. Which one of the ones above should we attack first? We're looking for a challenging to start. Attacking Venice could be a potential option, as a relatively powerful nation control the rich trade node could bring substantial economic growth to Duskwave. However, attacking smaller... Italians such as Siena and Luca could also be easy target. All right, so essentially what the AI is saying, attack either Venice, Siena, Luca. Siena, Luca don't exist anymore, so clearly we're going to have to be attacking the Venetians. Let's get some claims around here. I'm going to, from now on, I'm just going to do what I feel would be the best thing to do here. And I'm going to be asking the AI only when it's like very vital information required and stuff like that. Essentially, I'm going to be making the AI my own little advisor within my virtual royal court, let's say. Hey, we can restore 
the Roman Empire or form the Italian nation. We just need to have Admin Tech 10 for that and the province of Milano. So we're pretty much there already. Looks like Castile also wants to be our friend. Sure, we can accept that. Let's go and let's get a general as well. I'm actually going to make my uh, heir a general too. He's not too bad overall. Two shock, two fire is decent. We're going to put him in charge of the second army. And looks like we can get a royal marriage with Castile. Sure, we can do that. Maybe we're going to get some Trastamaras on our throne. Or maybe we can get some Riven Hearts on their throne. That would be the bigger brain thing to do, right? And exactly what I was saying. We're getting the occupation of Rome. Minus one Diplo rep and Papal influence because of it. Whilst we hold Rome. Or we're not going to give this away. This is our integral part of our amazing synthetic country here. This is, by the way, completely, absolutely, 100% historical. Just in case you're, uh, you're from the United States and your teacher asks you about what happened in the Renaissance. This is why it happened. It triggered because of the AI creating the Duskwave Dominion within the Italian Peninsula. Your teacher is going to be really impressed with you when you tell them this, by the way. So uh, so uh, make sure you don't mention my name. Um, just say you read about it somewhere. That's that's all you need to say, please. Wait, Naples wants to ally me. Oh, Naples is independent. Hello, future expansion lands. Ooh. Oh, almost forgot that we also have lands in uh, North Africa. I guess we could use this for some easy expansion in here. It's a lot easier than the Italian parts, right? But we want to consolidate Italy first because um, we got the rich notes and because the AI told us. So I guess we can attack uh, Bologna first, get rid of all of the Italian uh, smaller nations, essentially. And whilst we wait for the aggressive expansion to go down in Italy and with Catholic nations, we can uh, attack the uh, Tunisian lands afterwards. Hey, we found some Bavarians in the mountains, boys. They were hiding from us, apparently. Imagine being scared of metal monsters coming towards you with the lasers and stuff. Why would you ever be scared of that? You gotta be, you know, you gotta be strong about these things. This is just stuff that happened before, man. Well, they're scared enough that they want a white piece, and that's what I need from them anyway. So, let's go back. We're gonna get ready for the war with the Neapolitans now. Get our claim as well on Naples itself. Napoli, as they say in uh, the uh, Duskwave Dominion. And after a mere 500 freaking days, Bologna also fell. Let's uh, go with the Fullius Annexationus. Boom, shakaloki. And your boys are ready to attack as uh, filthy scumbag humans in the south of our country. They're allied to Ragusa in Provence. Okay. I mean, it's not like it's gonna make any sort of a difference, is it? No, they destroyed my fleet, or at least tried to destroy my fleet. Let's get an admiral for this fleet and, um, use them to wreak havoc in these areas, shall we? There you go. Destroyed some of their ships. Destroy more of their ships if we can. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I had forgotten to get one stability. <laughs> if I didn't... Oh my... This, bro, I know myself. I know myself. I always forget this, dude. I swear I always forget this. See, that's why you give out the privilege at the beginning of the game that's just just listen to what i'm telling you here and unsurprisingly we managed to get military tech four first because we have a six military leader we're gonna kick off the ragusans who apparently were trying to siege down our uh, northern fortresses the good part about this country is that we basically have all the entrances to italy covered in the northern bits with the exception of uh, como which we will get once we attack the milanese later down the line and with the ragusan army out of the way we can probably do a white piece or not 4850 that means we're gonna get it once we uh, start blockading their country so now we should be able to get that white piece. There you go, 74.49. We can even get some money from them. Amazing. Go back here and blockade Naples. And we can also go over to Provence to piece them out as well. I don't think I need to really siege down the entire capital of uh, Provence. I just need to do a few sieges here and there. That should be more than enough in my opinion. Let's see, 15, 19, 18. Come on, boys. I'm gonna extend these loans as well for a little while. 1859. Really? Do I actually have to siege this down, man? I have to wait and waste my time here for real? Maybe if we uh, do the same thing and we uh, blockade their uh, capital fort. It's going to make a little bit of a difference. Let's check yes, Maximus. And still no, 2058. All right, you know what? I'm going to fully capitalize on this and I'm going to destroy the Provence nation with the particular peace deal I have in mind right now. As for you, boyos, um, I kind of feel like I wanted to try and see if I can destroy this army. All right, let's attack them. Screw it, man. We are synthetic boys. We should win this without any sort of an issue. There you go. We did win it. Now we're going to chase them down and absolutely stack wipe them because they're low on morale and they're not going to be able to survive for much longer with that low morale that they have there. Okay, we've actually been chasing them around the nation a few times. It's like uh, one of those ring around the rosies moments or whatever you call them, right? For real? I've been doing this for how many months now? Just die already, Neapolitan army. Come on, bro. We managed to seize Provence whilst we've been chasing you boys around. And they still don't agree to white peace. Oh my god, Provence. For real. Guess we gotta go to Anjou and siege that down as well now. And we're gonna chase you boys even more. Well, finally we did stack wipe their army after many, many attempts for that matter. 
so it wasn't as easy as i initially expected it to be let's see how this is going here now we have 56 46 beautiful let's get our boy back from uh, naples four days and till 56 46 we can get a few ducats hells to the yasma boys let's bring this army back as well because we're going to be attacking naples next or actually no we're going to be attacking tunis next sadly i have to let them keep two provinces i cannot fully annex them ah just a few nations in a coalition too is really really acceptable in my opinion and look how much we've expanded already coalition wise i don't think anyone's gonna be too bold enough to trigger that against me and we can also become a kingdom now i mean i guess i underestimated some of these boys epirus actually did start the coalition against me um out of all the nations the weakest one did um you know what i'm actually gonna get an alliance with burgundy just in case i can get the inheritance later down the line imagine the inheritance passing along to uh, robots rather than actual people huh that's that's just that would be the most historical thing obviously and i also think the swiss would make some pretty good allies considering that uh they have a little bit of beef over here with the milanese hey we got the renaissance hells to the yeah where did it spawn in venice i think it says venice isn't it yep sure is in venice boys i think i'm also going to be upgrading some of these uh centers of trade that i have not upgraded yet should increase my trade power considerably in uh, both of my nodes the venetian and the genoese node oh we can actually get the venetian arsenal i'm assuming that's because we have venetian as our primary uh, culture that kind of makes sense right and it's time for the big boy wars against uh granada morocco and tunisia well boys we just got excommunicado by the pope not surprising however it's easy to fix we just gotta buy indulgence so I'm gonna get a quick loan here so i can get those indulgences or two loans for that matter and that uh, yeah, go this is gonna get rid of that nasty excommunication that we had bye bye but hey provence is still excommunicado so uh i guess we can still attack him once the truce is over interesting how tripoli is now the capital of tunis since we've uh we've taken their tunis province why is that tripoli is only five development they have higher development provinces than that they have eight in uh Cusantina, eight Eight in Kabylia. They've got way better province. 16 in Mitesia. Why would they go for Tripoli? I'm, I'm interested to know why. Is it historical reasons? Because Tripoli kind of was, you know, well, Lepchis Magna was the uh, capital of uh, province of the Roman Empire. So there's that, right? Oh, Savoy just got attacked by Geneva, who's trying to get their independence. They're supported by Switzerland and Genoa. You know what? I'm going to give a military access to these bad boys if they want to go through my lands. I'm cool with that. As the saying goes, right? The enemy of my enemy is Lorenzo. That's that's the same. Basically, what I'm saying is that uh, all my homies hate Lorenzo for some reason. Unexplained reason, really. I don't even know who Lorenzo is, but I just don't like the guy. You know what? In fact, we can ask the AI why. Why do all my homies hate Lorenzo? I don't have access to information about specific individuals in your personal life, so I cannot accurately answer why your friends may dislike someone named Lorenzo. <laughs> I don't have any friends named Lorenzo. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm playing dumb, basically. Let's see what the AI says. I apologize for the confusion. Apology accepted, little sneaky AI. Based on your previous question, I assume that you were referring to a specific person named Lorenzo whom your friends dislike. Eh, mean... I guess you could make that mistake and assume that, right? Without additional context, I'm unable to provide an accurate answer to your question, as it is unclear who you are referring to. Could you please provide more information? Sure. Lorenzo is the arch, not ratch, arch enemy of Dusk Wave <laughs> Dominion, the custom nation you made. <laughs> It's possible that Lorenzo is a challenging opponent who presents obstacles in opposition. Duskwave Dominion's goals. No. Lorenzo is a puny little insignificant nation. No. That's not why. I hate them because of the reason okay now it's actually trying to give me reasons why i hate wow this thing is literally like my mom i swear <laughs> ai can i give you a name of course i'm gonna call you lorenzo <laughs> But just to clarify, my, that's fine. Just to clarify, my name's still ChatGPT. No, it's Lorenzo now. There you go. It agrees. It it agrees to its faith. And it forever shall be known as Lorenzo now. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about Lorenzo Lamas, the famous actor that all the 90s women just absolutely love. Hey, Morocco's at war with the uh, Castilians. Looks like they might even give me a white pisos without me even having gotten to their lands. And I'm guessing the same is going to happen with... No, the logical thing of Granada also giving me white pieces is not happening. How about now? You're literally 
three fully occupied. There you go. Now you're giving me white piece. Thank you, Granada. You made the right choice there. And of course, we shall be reducing Tunis to the province of Hodna. This way, uh, their uh, previous neighbors of Tugurt and Mazab, instead of fearing Tunis, now can rejoice and actually annex Tunis for me. So I don't need to worry about Tunis at all in the nearby future, right? Plus, with this coastline, we don't need to worry about the Tunisians raiding us for a while, do we? Still got to worry about the other nations here raiding us, so we got to get rid of them too, I guess. Oh, wow. I've got a lot of provinces in the HRE. I'm going to leave the HRE with these provinces. Let's get out of here. Abandon the Holy Roman Empire. Thank you very much. Don't need to be a part of that, and I don't care if we piss off the emperor either, for that matter. And of course, we're also going to be lowering autonomy, because we've had autonomy passively grow in our country because of the initial uh, very low crownlands, but we fixed our crownland situation. Now we got to fix the autonomy situation, obviously. Goes basically hand in hand, doesn't it? And since I pissed off the emperor, I might as well make the emperor my rival too. Another thing that really goes hand in hand. Hot damn! Bologna becomes the seat of a new cardinal. Nope, I'm gonna get the admin because, let's face it, the Pope hates my guts because I own Rome. So I'm never gonna get any papal influence. I'm gonna be the first to go Protestant, essentially, boys. Hey, as expected, Tugurt attacked Tunis with the Conquest CB. So, uh, Tunis has been destroyed by one of the most weakest nations in the game. So, clearly, Tunis is a schnapple dupe good for nothing nation confirmed you saw it here first we might as well start the golden era now and get the aggressive expansion impact reduction modifier and we can also get ready for a juicy war against the pope but i think it's again time to consult the ai to see what it exactly wants us to do in this game oh last jousting tournament don't mind if i do boys that's gonna come in handy i'll be totally honest with you ai i'm admin tech 3 in uh, 1457 because i've been <laughs> expanding a lot what should i really be doing now yet again with the massive text wall that i'm likely not gonna read but you can if you pause the video don't mind that be concise should i stop expanding and wait for tech to catch up yes or no it would be wise to pause expansion for a while focus on developing your country well thank you very much in that case i have a bigger question ai one that i think everybody watching this wants to know right now can eu4 players be cool yes of course just like any hobby and interest there are many cool interesting people who play eu4 exactly you see i always knew that's the case that's why all my friends say that i'm cool like lorenzo he's like my my, my only friend I don't know if you guys know lorenzo ah don't worry there are plenty of cool eu4 players out there oh he's so nice nice man i i i i'm i'm gonna maybe give back his wallet let's see do you even have a wallet no he doesn't have one damn do you want one i can i can arrange for somebody else's wallet to be transferred i mean I don't possess consciousness or emotion oh damn if only i knew that before i took your wallet and give it to the ai but now the ai doesn't want it so you can have it back of course you know what to do don't you and hey guys i really hope you enjoyed the dusk wave dominion here that the ai came up with it was really interesting to see the actual thought process behind this uh chat gpt function here whatever the schnapps it is hopefully whenever it takes over the world and uh, destroys all of us it remembers these little moments we had millennia after we're all gone but you don't need to be worried because until the next time you can watch this amazing video up next and i want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons channel members and twitch subscribers i would not be able to do this without all your support 